and welcome PML fans. I'm not your host today. I'm actually the interviewee, Joe Zamora here, uh, coach of the Chartreuse. And uh, the person who is going to do the interview is Stuart J. Mills. Yo, how we going, man? You right? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Welcome. Yeah, it's fun to be here. <laughs> <laughs> always a good time of the year, you know, starting a new draft league and the YouTube one's always a good, exciting, different league. Oh, yeah. New, new league, change of the seasons and everything. That's right, 100%. So I guess we just crack into it. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think we'll just start with, you know, a bit of history for you. Like, tell me about your experience in Draft League and where you came from and, you know, what you feel like your biggest achievement is. Well, I could start with biggest achievement was definitely a doubles championship win um, a few years ago. I think it was two years ago already. Uh, so that's my biggest achievement. Draft history is mostly PML related, but uh, this year, at the beginning of this year, I've actually done about two to four other ones. Um, did decent in them, not great. Um, a, a couple of them cut short, and I made the finals in the CDL. I lost that one. Uh, the UGL got cut short, so the Senate season ended before anything could happen there and then uh the tpl i'm just kind of filling in for a friend so uh making the best of a bad situation it's the way to do it you know i like I, you know i like that what you bring to the table as far as experience goes i think people underestimate experience when it comes to not only the actual battles but the drafting itself i feel like once you've had a few drafts under your belt i think proves that you were a better battler yes yeah, you know sir. what i mean they work they, they work together like you could draft the best team but if you haven't got any experience in battles you're going to struggle and vice versa if you're a really good battler but you haven't drafted much you're going to struggle again so i feel like you bring you know the best of both worlds yeah i certainly uh felt that in the other leagues because they didn't draft obviously the same way we do so yeah the uh, dra having a draft between the legendaries and the odd tiers that they had it, it really uh it really showed that i do a lot better here in pml because of the way i know how to draft than over there 100 percent. so what do you think pml brings to the table as far as drafts are concerned well pml certainly brings out professionalism and um just uh uniqueness as well knowing that the tier systems aren't like most uh, these are made developed by pml admins and such and then the the shorter seasons definitely make it more competitive than if it were to be like 10 week seasons or something like that yeah more likely to complete the draft too like no one no, not many people drop out which is always a bonus that too i mean you you have a 12 game season and someone starts off zero and four they're not going to want to stick around 100 percent so, um, what? Tell me some background about the Chartriots. Obviously, it's a play on uh, the Patriots, but uh, you know what made you choose your logo and everything like that. So, this logo is actually a development of a few other logos. My original logo is still kind of in this logo on the Pokeball. Um, Charizard is my favorite Pokemon of all time, of course, and then uh, Patriots are my favorite football team, and I had to figure out a way to make those two combine. And Chartreuse was the closest I could get to it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So, uh, when's the draft happening this weekend? Uh, two weeks from now. Uh, two so, weeks from now. Excellent. Well, from this video, probably a week. But, yeah. So, May 15th is the draft. Live That's the draft. One. So, uh, let's say you were the lucky one and you drew pick number one. No, I actually one. picked. Uh, I actually got pick number sixteen. So oh, I, you already done. The, you already run the draft. I see. Yeah. All right. So pick sixteen. So what do you see yourself getting in that first round? Honestly, Slash, I think. What would? What do you think you want? Honestly, I am not sure what I'm going to get. I'm hoping uh, a decent Pokemon can fall. Maybe a Steel type. Because uh, tier one, t 
tier one still types are pretty hard hitting as well as very bulky instead of just one or the other um and uh a lot of tier ones have good type coverage with the steel types so that's what i'm hoping to get that's awesome do you have like a strategy in mind do you think there's a way you want to want to play you're gonna pull out a trick room or you're gonna you know bring some prankster shenanigans or you know weather well i tried weather in the doubles league and i barely missed playoff so i don't know if i want to go back to that so i might just stick to the tried and true uh uh, hyper offensive and just have a few bulky mons to take some punishing hits. Oh, yeah, I see you. See, so you'll be picking your armor on again if you can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything you specifically want, do you think, to fit your strategy? Um, I definitely. I just want Charizard because he's the mascot of the team. But something to fit my team as well. Um, I would love Galvantula if I can get that. I know um, Sticky Web's electric type is going to be kind of quick to grab. So um, I might have to make a choice between Charizard and Gavantula since I'll have the first third round pick. Um, so it just depends on what I draft in the first two rounds or first three rounds all the way until third round pick and see what I want to go through from there. Fair enough. So after the success of last season's YouTube draft and now the expanded roster on this one. Is there someone that you're excited to battle? Uh, yeah, last year was a doozy. I, I made it all the way to the finals and then lost to the guy I lost to in the regular season. So the same thing, uh, pretty much. Klefki, uh, I, uh, lagging tail. So hopefully I can uh, change the outcome and actually win this time around. But yeah, we did uh, add eight more people to the party so um who do i want to who's the big who, yeah who's your biggest threat maybe look at it from that direction all right let me actually look at that real quick because a lot of the threats appear to be in the other uh side of the draft from what uh everyone in the chat's been talking about but um i definitely gotta face uh david and I know he's going to really want to get that uh, Rillaboom, so that might be a problem. Um, and then uh, this guy, Casper, I've heard a lot of good things about him. So those two in my divisions are probably the top threats to me, uh, just from what I hear right out of the gate. But, you know, so it could who, be anyone's yeah. season. So who are you going to meet in the final? Um, everyone's saying, uh, let's see. Everyone's saying Matthew is probably the best battler on that side that's what i'm hearing and uh that's who i expect to face <laughs> if it happens <laughs> now nah, you got confidence confidence you'll meet him in the final it's fine. oh yeah i'm going to the final yeah. it just has it depends that's on who gets there <laughs> so i know i asked you this last year but i feel like you've had a year to think about it so i'm going to ask mm -hmm. you again so if you had a mundane superpower what would it be and by mundane, like my superpower would be if I go anywhere in my car, I get a car park right outside where I'm going. Every time. That's my superpower. A perfect what parking spot be? every time? That's every time. One. I think your answer changed too, so I, I don't know if my answer will stay the same. Um, I don't know what I said last year. It's been such a long time. But I think... Uh, oh. Just being able to walk through any door and being where I want to be. That's a great one. I like that. I'm pretty sure last year you said whatever meal you wanted it would be right there in front of you. Yeah. I think that's the one you said. I think I did say that. Whatever meal yeah, I was so, hungry for, it just popped in front of me. Yeah. I like both of, I like both of those. But yeah, the door one's really good. It's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Very, like, a lot whims of, whimsical. A lot of traveling uh, the last year has made me want that power. <laughs> Yeah, especially in the wide expenses of the U.S., I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Texas alone, it just takes forever to drive everywhere. <laughs> well, that's awesome, brother. I'm, I wish you all the best for the season, and uh, cheers for joining me today, and cheers for inviting me in to interview you. All right. Thanks, man. And uh, everyone who's watching, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you after the draft.